This model from WSI comes well packaged in a cardboard outer carton. Inside the carton is a standard WSI branded box which they use for their truck models. This model is in the colours of William White which is a Scottish cargo handling and crane hire company. Opening up the box the model is contained in a polystyrene tray with a clear plastic form on top. It's a factory sealed model so the first thing you need to do is just to slit the tape and then you can lift the lid. The first item out of the box is the Nautoboom ballast trailer and it's fully assembled except for some deck posts which can be fitted later. Oops and as you can see a piece has just fallen off so we'll have to fix that back on. And the other main part of the model is the Scania tractor unit. Again that piece of the model should be complete but in the box there is another piece which has obviously fallen off during transport and that will have to be fixed on as well. As this model is sponsored by the Notabome shop it includes a collector card which is always a nice touch. It's not uniquely numbered but this one is interesting because instead of crane hire they've put crabe hire. The last part out of the box is a small bag of parts and there's no information about the model or about the real vehicle. We have to start with some unscheduled assembly which is the backing plate for the equipment box. It's not been fixed properly in the factory so that needs to be glued into place. And the other part that has to be fixed is the pad for the landing leg which fell off because the screw inside wasn't long enough. Once the repairs have been made the only assembly to actually do is to fix the tractor to the trailer and there the kingpin just slides into the fifth wheel, makes a positive connection and then the vehicle is assembled. The chassis of the Scania is typically detailed as you would expect from WSI. The gearbox is clearly modelled and the tyres have a different tread pattern front and rear. The wheels are well detailed and the rear hubs are colour coded to match the livery. In fact the colour scheme on the Scania looks great and when matched with all the details it produces a really authentic looking model. A particular feature of the model is the very high quality graphics. These continue around the back of the cab and there's also a high quality exhaust and coiled airlines. The details are also very good at the back with nice mud flaps and a realistic number plate. There's also high quality diamond plating on the wheel arches and a good looking fifth wheel. The six axle Notabone ballast trailer is certainly highly detailed. The axle assemblies look really complex and there's some great detailing with airlines throughout the length of the trailer. The metal headboard has a nice graphic and there's also a fleet number at the front. The replica timber surfacing on the deck is very high quality with the bolt locations indicated. The wheels look really good, there are nice graphics on the trailer edge and there are some tiny tie down points modelled. At the rear the details look great with beacon lights and many different graphics. We'll look at the Scania top line tractor first and it certainly motors well on the test track. There's no working suspension or anything like that on this model, the rear axles are free rolling. There is some kind of steering at the front but the range of movement really is very limited so you can't pose the model turning with a hard lock. And that's always a pity but you can get a small degree of steering. The cab of the tractor tilts forward and it tilts to a good angle and that lets you get a good look at the detailed engine that's underneath the cab. The cab can be posed in a tilted position so WSI have done a good job with this feature. Moving on to the trailer it's a highly engineered part and the first thing to notice is the working suspension on all of the axles. Each of the axle units has got a couple of little springs built into the mechanism so they're all independently sprung. And WSI have done a good job with this part of the model. Also good is the steering because the rear four axles have linked steering and it's proportional so that the rearmost axle turns more than the innermost axle. And when it's set the trailer can then steer through a realistic arc around a tight bend. Axle 1 also has a couple of other features associated with it. It has its own independent steering mechanism. And it can also be raised and fixed out of service. So you press it down and then there's a little switch that you just move over to one side and that locks it into position. And although the range of movement isn't much, it is enough because if you attach the trailer to a tractor and then move the whole thing along, you'll see that Axle 1 doesn't rotate because it's not in contact with the ground. Another feature is that you can pose the trailer without a tractor, so you can just lower the two landing legs. These are metal parts and they've got smooth cylinder finishes, so there's no unsightly screw threads. 
and they lower enough to provide proper support to the trailer. On the side of the trailer there's a neat little holder for a spare wheel and a spare wheel is provided in the bag of parts and you can just pop that in the holder and then close up the door. Another optional feature on the model is the addition of deck posts which just slot into holes along the edge of the deck. These are metal posts and they fit in reasonably well although sometimes you can get one that's perhaps loosely fitting and you need to just straighten it up a bit. A ballast trailer is usually used to carry heavy parts that travel with a mobile crane so we can load this one up with a few spreader plates, a hook and some pieces of counterweight and these ones are from a Liebherr LTM 1200 mobile crane. And when you've done that you can then pose it with the mobile crane model and get a good looking display. This is another very nice model of a Notabone ballast trailer. The details and features are very good and the Scania tractor is good too. It's also a beautiful looking model in the colours of William White, so if you like heavy haulage, it's highly recommended.